welcome and thanks for joining my course on basics of language science. This course deals with fundamental aspects of language. Check with yourself and ask a question. Do questions about language bother you? What kind of questions come to your mind? These questions could be about languages that you speak or languages you don't speak. In other words, when we speak a language like English, what kind of questions do come to our mind? That is, or questions that should come to our mind are, how do we learn a language? When do we learn a language? How early does a child start learning a language? What is it then when what is it that we learn when we learn a language? What happens that before a child learns many things about, about the world in which we have to survive, we have already learned to speak a sentence without any difficulty. We have learned that is. In our subconscious, we have figured out all the intricacies that go in constituting a sentence. That is, the computation of a sentence is pretty much clear in the mind of a child before she speaks a sentence. What makes us acquire such a capacity? What helps us do things? If you think about it, this is one of the biggest wonder and miracle in our understanding. This is one of the most complex things that we can try and attempt to understand. Other things that come to my mind or should come to our mind is we speak multiple languages. Do multiple languages occur separately in our minds or are they stacked in the same box? Do grammar of different languages mix with each other in our mind? Does it create a difficulty when we speak? How do we learn a new language? We learn a language automatically, effortlessly and flawlessly from our immediate environment as a child. But when we want to learn a new language as a grown-up adult, it becomes a very tough task. What creates that difficulty and why is language such an easy thing for us to learn as a child? What are the underlying intricacies of language? That is, how do we make a sentence? How do put words together to make a sentence? Do words together make a sentence? Are there things in the sentence that are invisible to us? How do we make a word? How do words get their meanings? How many sounds are there in the language that we speak? Do languages have independent set of sounds? All these questions are crucial for us to understand when we start paying attention to language. How do we speak those sounds? What are the mechanism underlying production of those sounds that constitute vocal sounds for our speech? How do we understand others? How do we understand when people say something else and they mean something else? How do we listen? How do we learn what we must say or we must not say? And how do we learn to teach a language? There are numerous questions that would come to your mind in a series if you want to think about a question. Think about questions concerning language. What kind of similarities languages have among one another? What kind of differences languages have between one another? Are languages similar to one another? Why do we speak so many languages? 
if language is only for the purpose of communication, why do we not all, all people across the world, why do we not speak the same language? Why are there so many languages in the world? How many languages are there in the world? Do we know the total number of languages in the world? Can we really count languages? Do we know when one language stops and people start speaking another language? All are critical questions for us to understand. In this course on basics of language science, we are going to deal with issues in a systematic way, in a scientific way that help us understand lot of these questions in somewhat details. We look at all of these in a systematic way at the level of sounds, at the level of words, at the level of sentences, at the level of discourse, in terms of pragmatics, in terms of structure. Most of these things in a little bit of detail for us to understand and these are the things that we will deal with in this course on basics of language science. I promise you at the end of this course you will feel like you know how to answer lot of questions about various different intricacies or different types of wonders about language. Again, I welcome you to this course and hope you have an enjoyable journey with me throughout the course. Thank you.